Just waiting for the chat to tell us that we're live. If we are live, hello. It's Friday. This is driving me nuts. <laughs> starting to wonder <laughs> if we're not I know I, if I open the other one though hold on like, uh, we are live thank you Jamie <laughs> it is Friday and we haven't been here in a while um but we're here now so yes, happy Friday everyone I'm really glad to be here and yeah, feeling okay to yeah. be here. <laughs> um, hello, hello. All right. Everybody. Happy Friday. Friday. Okay, so we're going to do new image sets. Yeah, we're going to look at the new image sets. So there should be a bunch of new image sets now. Okay, real quick, Deanna's got a question about the, so we were going to talk about that, Deanna, the Easter egg hunt. So if you guys haven't seen Cricket Just, and actually in the video description of this is information on the Easter egg hunt and the link to the blog. So how the Easter egg hunt, so Cricket, what they did is between now and I think it's April 9th, they have hidden five different Easter eggs within design space. So I wish I could share a picture with you, Deanna, and show you exactly what it looks like. So when you're searching images, so for instance, I will say I searched the image Easter egg. And it, I don't think it's for everyone because we kind of tried this uh, with me and Jamie. And I would find Easter eggs in places she wouldn't. So I don't know that it's the same for everyone. But basically search, think spring stuff. Um, so I searched Easter egg and scroll down for a while. And then in one of the spots the image would be, it actually has... It says enter, you click to enter, and it shows the little Easter egg. Just like uh, I just did posts on Patreon and all the design space groups and all of our Facebook groups, and it shows you kind of the picture that's at the bottom where it shows the little bunny and an egg and it have a number one through five on it. That's what it'll look like. Okay, here, Alex has it up to see. Let's see if we can find an Easter egg. I am going to your message. So basically in place of one of the tiles or one of the images, it'll just be like how they have like the sail image there for the mats. It'll be just like, oh, there it is right there. I see it. So which, like this thing? Where do you point? With the number five, with the Easter egg? Yeah. So okay, this is what we're looking for. So we just found an Easter egg. So this is Easter egg number five, and there's five different Easter eggs. So for each Easter egg you find, you... What does it say? Enter contest. Click enter contest, enter your email, and then you have basically five. If you find all five eggs, you get one chance for each egg you find to win $100 to spend at Cricut. So they're giving away $100 for each egg, basically. So there's five, five different prizes. Hooray, you found egg number five. That's the same one I found. Nice. Sue, one of our admins, did find egg number one this morning. She don't know what she was looking for, though, but she just came across it. Yeah, it's a fun little thing to do, isn't it? We think it's a fun little... Just want to search and be like, can I find another egg? <laughs> and you may find the same egg over again because I was looking for other eggs and I kept finding egg number five multiple times, but when I was searching different things. Yeah, there's five again. Can someone explain the difference from beta and the live? Uh, yeah, Denise. So with beta, beta is released beforehand, before it goes to live. That way people can play with it, test it. Basically, it's so that we can like find the bugs within it and work out the bugs before it goes live to everyone. And then you're able to switch between the beta and the live. And Alex here is actually showing you a brand new thing that they just added to the beta. So we have the text warp. But now, if you've seen Alex was just playing, they now have a slider tool, and this is in beta. So it allows you to adjust the warp, which is really good. Especially the ones where like the words get bigger and smaller because they got so little you couldn't read them, um, but then you can adjust it so it doesn't get as small. So they just added that too. So 
like, I can't read that. Right. Yeah, that's why it's important to have that, like, that on there so you can... Warping is fun! <laughs> Warping is fun! I probably spelled it wrong, but... <laughs> You know, I think with warping, I always want to say, let's do the time warp. You know what that's from, don't you, Alex? Um, that sounds familiar. The The Rocky Horror Picture Show? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I was like, please tell me you've seen the Rocky Horror yeah. Picture Show. <clears throat> uh, Denise, not for sure. Lots of times it's not a set. When they release it to beta, they don't usually know exactly when it's going live. They want to see how many bugs there is in it. Do they need to adjust anything? Um, and then... Once they think that they've got it all worked out and everything's going good, then they will release it to live. Good morning, Claudia. First, we got to say good morning to everyone. We got Jamie, Deanna, Louise. It's not morning anymore. Well, were you? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to the, the earlier time. I was like, wait, yeah. it's later. Connie, Deborah, Diane, Carol. Any, Claudia, Gloria. Oh, Gloria was at the craft stores. Did you find anything good, Gloria? And then, Denise, can you show Denise how you switch between live and beta? Uh, so it is still morning somewhat in Arizona because it's only 11.07 there. That's, uh, honestly, I don't remember how to switch between live and beta. Hit the three. The hamburger menu. Yeah, the hamburger menu. <laughs> uh... And then go to settings. settings. I'm trying to get up. This is so teeny teeny. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Settings general. Oh, yeah, because I'm sharing my whole screen, so she only sees, like, it's real small <laughs> it's on her. Like, you know, like, you get a close-up of my eyeball. Uh, so, yeah, it's just live and beta right here. Yeah. So, real quick, Holly, I will stop sharing and then reshare the screen to Cricut Design Space. So your whole screen should now be Cricut Design Space. Right? Yes. And he said, you were trying to make me work longer, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> what is today? It's Friday, so it's your weekend, Eddie. So does that mean your weekend has officially started? <laughs> no problem, Denise. We're glad we could help. Images... Now you don't have to wait for those features to hit live, right? Because you know you can go into beta and then play with them. And then if you ever find an issue within them, you can go ahead and report the report the bug too, and then that helps them figure out everything in the, the software and everything. Text warp was huge. Like I was so excited to see that. Cricket had asked, you know, like what's something you guys want to see in one of our meetings? And I was like, text warping, and it, it's here. It's, yeah. So how cool. Wiggle shapes. 105 images. It's a lot of squiggles. It is a lot of squiggles. I like those. They remind me of the Aztec type vibe. Yeah. Have you seen the frog army guy? I don't know why that <laughs> one of those reminded me of a frog. This reminded me of a frog. I don't know why. A <laughs> um, frog army guy? So there's a... <laughs> there, there's a, a channel on TikTok. It's called Frog Army. And mm -hmm. he like goes and gets all these tadpoles. And it's to the point where his neighbors are moving out. <laughs> because there are so many frogs. <laughs> and they're probably so loud. Like I love the symphony <laughs> of the frogs, but that might be too much. <laughs> There's so many frogs. <coughs> That's crazy. I'll send you a video. Well, Denise, we're glad to help. We're glad you're here, and we're glad to help. Like, we have amazing people. 
that I say that that are all willing to help and love to help. So this is definitely a good place to be for that. I think my allergies are just really kicking up because <clears throat> I feel fine. It's just my yeah. I'm a little sniffly. The '70s stuff is coming so back in so much. '70s shirts, '70s tile, like the yeah. '70s tile patterns, just '70s patterns on. Those are the squiggles. They remind me of the Wiggles. Did you ever watch the? No, no. you didn't watch the Wiggles, did you, Alex? No. You don't know who the Wiggles are. I know who they are. I saw them at Six Flags once. I was walking. I'm like, who are those crazy people? <laughs> oh, these are cute. What is this one called? Oh, um, Pocket Peeker Designs. Oh, that's, oh, that's fun. so cute. You put them on like the pocket of your shirt, yeah. and they're peeking out. Oh, Jamie, Jamie, you need the panda. <laughs> I love the seventies too. I'm a huge fan of the seventies and sixties music. The unicorn. Oh, that's so cute. Are such a cute idea. All right, Deanna said, Panda alert, Jamie. <laughs> and the little gingerbread, you can have gingy in your pocket. That's cute for a. Or the little pig. Yeah. Little, little pig. I got a pig in my pocket. <laughs> These are stinking cute. A little T Rex. Dinosaur. Oh, that's awesome, Denise. Those are fun. Animal drink wrap and coasters. Oh, oh, sea turtles. These are cool and frog. That is frogs there, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that frogs or is that lizards? The frogs. Okay. Uh, frogs and lily pads. <laughs> the llama with like the cactus in the yeah. mountains. French bulldogs, butterflies. That's fun. Koala. More sea turtles. There's actually quite a few, Denise, there's quite a few panda images. Uh, Jamie is our panda. You see her emoji is a panda even. Uh, so whenever we see pandas, we're like, Jamie. A little dinosaur. These are cute. Now they're drinkware, so it wraps around. Um, the Those would be good to use with the new color-changing vinyl. Oh, yeah. Like, Little color changing vinyl and put it around a glass and then it changes colors with the temperature. Yes, Sue. Definitely. So great for mugs too. So you could do it hot or cold. There's the hot changing vinyl and there's the cold changing vinyl. They're unicorn. A little doggo. It's so weird to have a house without a dog. My kids have never lived in a house without a dog. And now every time I see a dog, it, nobody's as excited to see you when you come home as a dog is. Right. Cute. Denise, do you know in China there are people that are panda cuddlers and they go to the zoo and I think they're all volunteer and they literally just get to cuddle with the baby pandas. <laughs> Like that seems phenomenal. Houses about town. What? Little towns. Oh. That's kind of cool. So you don't have to build your own. Yeah. Yeah, the panda nanny nannies. That's a great job. <laughs> like, who doesn't want to go cuddle pandas? I feel like it's a type of therapy too, you know, like a 
I know, and they roll around. It was cute when they roll into a ball. <clears throat> ball farmhouse. That would be cute, too, to make a card. Like, if you make a card for a new neighbor, like a welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's a good question. Do any of you do that? Do any of you make, say a neighbor moves in? Do you, and I feel like every place is different. Some places are like, Neighbors talk way more here. Like, they don't talk. Our old neighborhood, all the neighbors were friends. We'd hang out in each other's yard. Some would go on vacations with each other. Um, but here it's like nobody talks to one another. It's so weird. Uh, I see the guy next door. Whenever I see him, we talk for a few minutes. The other guy next door, never. I rarely see them. But the people across the street on the corner... When they're like pulling into their driveway, they always wave. If I'm sitting outside, because I'm trying to sit outside for like half an hour to an hour every day to get more vitamin D, since the deficiency. Uh, Soak up the sun. Yeah, I'm doing that crazy challenge. I'm day two. It's gonna be so difficult. Uh, yeah, it's doing an awesome 75 day? Yeah, is that so what it is? It's, it's called 75, 75 hard challenge. Very, and is it for 75 days? It's 75 days, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're supposed to take like a progress picture every day. You're, I don't even remember, the, although you do two 45 minute workouts, you pick a diet, you stick to it, and you drink a gallon of water a day. And you read 10 pages of a book every day. Read, not listen to. <laughs> Alex said he asked, could he, could he listen to 10 pages of a book? And they're like, no, you have to read it. So these are called tie the knot. So these are they're like tags for tags for a wedding. I've never been married. So where would you put these? On a gift. Oh. Like on a wedding present. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. That's what I'm assuming anyway. <laughs> I Possibly like, not. I like the random blossom branch. Like, that's... Yeah, I don't know why it's in there, but I love blossom branches anyway. Only 10. What's only 10? That's really cool, Deanna. When she first moved in, one of the neighbors put together a map of our cul-de-sac with names, addresses, and phone numbers. That's amazing. Because you know what? The people right next to me here, I don't know their names. And the people right next to me there, I don't know their names. No, it's just weird. It's like we used to live in a different subdivision in Illinois and it's smaller houses and everybody was so... And then you move here and it's bigger houses and nobody talks to one another. It's just... I thought I read 10 pages yesterday. I read 20. So I was like, oh, I guess the book got me. You know what's interesting? Read Nick Huffman. You know Nick Huffman has a book? Oh, and it's yeah. just stories oh. of things. And, and you know he has great stories. Like the yeah. craziest things happen. I have it, actually. It's by the bathtub because it's good bathtub reading. <laughs> <laughs> His stories are um, insane. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. There's a lot of tags on here. Oh, Deanna said tie the knot is an old cricket cartridge. Oh. Okay. Is anybody interested in some cricket cartridges? I have a, I have a <laughs> you lot. Have a bunch. <laughs> I was like, what is that one? That's like a like a corset type yeah, thing. It is a corset. Yeah, yeah. it's a corset. Does that one have a butterfly? That one's got a butter yeah, that tag's got a butterfly on it. So there are some in here that have things you can use for different occasions yeah. too, not weddings. That little dress box was cute. There's 271 images in this. Oh, we don't have to go through all of them. We're almost done. We're going quicker. It's <laughs> a lot of tags. Okay. Oh, yeah, the shower. The bridal shower. That's right, Denise. We didn't get through all of them. Pregnancy contour line drawing.
Yeah, that is a good question, Annie. How do you stop after only 10 pages? Especially, like, I have to, like, finish a chapter or something. No, I am not a reader, so I thought 10 pages was a lot. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Getting started. You're, like, not even into it. I will say the book I am reading right now is a book I did listen to, but I want to reread it because it's um, it's a very motivational book, this guy. Uh, and then he has another book, so I want to read that one after re reading this one. Pretty maternity ones. There's a baby in there. There is. There is indeed. Your granddaughter is three weeks old yesterday. Oh, that's amazing, Denise. I hope you get lots. I hope, does she live close at all? You get to snuggle her and love on her? And he used to read 80 or more books a year. Wow. That is a lot. Uh, I'll read a lot once I get into like a series. If it's a series and then there's multiple books, that's where, like when Twilight was big, I went down the Twilight hole and I was like, I stayed up all night reading those books. Danish pastel floral designs. Oh, I like these. Those. Ooh, maybe... I like this a lot. I do. I really like these, period. And you know what? You could use those as stencils. Yeah. The design oh, yeah. of them would be perfect to put stencils. You could... I forgot I got to stencil those cabinets downstairs. Um, But yeah, you could use them as stencils, too. Two books a week? Are these, like... Are you guys reading comic books? <laughs> like... <laughs> You can put this on, like, a uh, clean... Hi, Nikki! Nikki said the Sword of Truth series is the best ever. <laughs> Annie, I would still read that much if stupid work didn't take up all that time. Cool. Or what? Uh -oh. Okay. Sorry, my husband was informing me my daughter's car got a recall. Apparently, they finally recalled the Kias for the fact oh, that it can get... Oh, finally? Uh, yes. Thank goodness. Oh, look at that one with the mushroom. I know. I like it. Hey, next to it is Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Holly and the pineapples? Berry. These are neat. Finally. I knew that was like a class action lawsuit because they're... And she needs it because she's going to... Where she's going to college, I'm like... They can steal your car with a USB cord. It's so dumb. Like, I saw, like, a video. Whenever people steal those Kias, all they do is just go back. Just They just drive the car just side to side really stupidly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Hyundai's, too. It's Kias and Hyundai's. So, yeah, yeah, I can. The whole bunch of cars they made. All you gotta do is pop the thing out and you stick a USB cord in it. So the um, certain insurance companies, State Farm, Progressive, all these insurance companies are like, we refuse to insure them because they're getting stolen so much. So I'm like, oh, that's great. You're stuck with the. If you're under the insurance already, they'll keep it, but you can't get new insurance for these cars. Uh -huh. Yeah, Denise, we found this out right after my daughter got a 20. She's 16. Well, she's 17 now. But. She, uh, literally weeks after we got her car, it came out that it could be stolen. Hers luckily hasn't been, um, but we definitely wanted to do something. We're like, we at least have to get the club, you know, the old steering wheel club, <laughs> something. Yeah. Um, I could definitely listen to seven or eight a month for how much I'm in the car. I could probably do that, but I can't. I, I used to read or I used to listen to books a lot, um, but I'm reading uh, "Can't Hurt Me" by David Goggins. Oh, that's the Navy SEAL guy you were yeah, talking about, right? Yeah. It, and you said he used to be like a really—he was like he was overweight, and then he like 
like kicked himself into gear. He is not. He is a different human. Like he is, he is unlike. Different... He runs fifty miles a day now. Like he's he is a different human. My he's... question was when Alex said that fifty miles a day. I was like, what does that do to your knees? Like yeah. that is an amount of impact. Yeah. That's like I just well, I'm like... gonna get. I'm, I'm just gonna go to Chicago, Alex, and I'm just gonna run till I get to Chicago. Like, that's that. He uh he was. <laughs> He was in a. He wanted to sign up for a, a race, some kind of race. And they're like, you can't do it unless you run a hundred miles in twenty four hours. So he ran a hundred and one miles in eighteen hours. And uh, they're like, what about the other six hours? He's like, well, I thought you only needed a hundred, so <laughs> stopped. <laughs> I was like, man, that's crazy. Can't even imagine. Yeah. So these are casino tattoo elements. I'm the same, Any. I can read a book, but just listening to it on the radio, my brain wanders too much. I gotta like read the words and stay, stay in it. Oh, casino tattoos. I want to. I want to get a little penguin tattoo right here on my my hand. You know, are with, you with, with his like flap? His wing up, you know, so it's like With a high five. Flap? Yeah, <laughs> they don't fly, so I call them flaps. <laughs> you at least call it an arm or something. <laughs> I mean, <it's... laughs> they look like flaps. <laughs> so, with his wing up, and it has like little marks. So when you like high five someone, it's like mm -hmm. he's giving you a little high five. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if anybody's took this to a tattoo. Like, you know how they have all these different tattoo images? Has anybody, like, went to the tattoo artist with a cricket design and been like, this? <laughs> this is what this I want. <laughs> Someone did that with Scott's uh, artwork. And then I they, you had said that. And they even have his signature <laughs> from <Wow>. the painting. <laughs> <clears throat> Elizabeth wants to know, just curious, do you think Cricket will come out with a new cutting machine anytime soon? Ooh. And Elizabeth, the answer to that is we have absolutely oh, no yeah. idea. <laughs> no idea. We always, um, usually their new machines, so they usually have like two launches in the year of new materials. And they had the spring launch, which they just did, which was like the color changing, UV color changing iron on, the rainbow reflective iron on, uh, the color changing U vinyl and several other things. Um, but then in fall, they do another release of other things, and that's when new machines usually come out. So if there is a new machine coming out, we won't know till fall. Yeah, I can't imagine. And, like, you know, we always talk about, like, oh, what could they come out with next right. um, and stuff like that. So it's exciting to, like, we hope, you know, because new machines are always exciting, but we really have no idea. It's like that. Actually... Did you guys see that video that my mom did with the, like, uh, the April <laughs> Fools. Yes. The, the easy it was like bake, a... the cricket easy bake oven or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Melody loved April Fools. Yeah. Um, and if you're new and joined us, Melody is it's Melody Lane's channel. She's my sister Alex's mom, and she one year like had an announcement of a new machine, right? And I was like, oh, this is so exciting. And um, she's got the Cricut Easy Bake Oven, and she even had like an image of it. Yeah, and someone I think Louise helped her with the with the image. Uh, so they had like the Cricut logo. It was the Easy Bake Oven with the Cricut logo on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was great. Um, maybe yeah. They... So you can go back and um, look at the video. I, I don't know. What... I don't know what it's labeled. April Fools, maybe cricket easy bake oven, but it was and it's so funny because you know Melody's so enthusiastic. Sorry, my kitty's right here. <laughs> no, trying <I> to go. Just... <laughs> um, she's so enthusiastic and like nobody wanted to tell her like this is a horrible idea. So they're like, oh, that's awesome, but it it, it really wasn't awesome. It was really like it would have been a good idea though because like any said, sub sublimation ovens are a thing. I would have bought one. And I was like, I was thinking, I'm like, that would be really good for sublimation. Like, yeah, and just call it, the, yeah. I really like this candle. I just had to say that. <laughs> <laughs> These are cute. Uh, he looks a little creepy. 
<laughs> and then I remember one year at Grandma's. I don't remember if you were there, Holly, or if it was it was when Uncle Dobie was there. Uh, my mom was like, oh, I'm making brownies. And everyone's like, you're not making brownies. Like, what do you mean you're making? My mom didn't make anything. Like, she, she made, like, that one dip, and that was it. Uh <laughs> And <laughs> so we brought over a pan, and we're like, you guys want some brownies? And she literally cut out a bunch of brown E's, like the letter E, <laughs> out of brown paper, <laughs> and put it in a pan. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. When my brother used to live with her, we used to like to do pranks. I remember Marla came over and, like, forked to the yard, yeah. stuck forks on yeah. it. Um. And then, you know, when we switched all Melody's cabinets around when she was sleeping, all her drawers, cabinets, and then the next morning, like, what happened? Me <laughs> <laughs> and Dobie were just cracking up. <laughs> I remember being at the part at the apartment, and that's when he lived with us. He, uh, <laughs> he would be like, watch this. <laughs> he just run out of the kitchen. My mom's asleep on the couch. And he's like, fire! Fire! <laughs> Runs out the door and she's like, oh, oh, okay. And we just run out. Oh, man. Good memories. Uh, the people's cars got saran wrapped. She was really into the pranking thing. Oh, yeah. I saran wrapped a, a few cars. Yeah, Shirley, try it with your family. It's cute, right? Show up to Easter and be like, I brought brownies. And then it's just brownies. <laughs> I would feel bad, though. I'd have a backup of actual brownies. Oh, yeah, same. same. We did not, but I definitely, I was like, I kind of want brownies, though. <laughs> yeah, now everybody's like, well, now I'm in the mood for a brownie. <laughs> I want to put this on a shirt. <laughs> I, heard I, like say, the... I heard you like to... Oh, I heard you like potty. <laughs> Aww. Pet stuff is my weakness right now, so. Yeah. Love is a rescue dog. Doggy bag, thank you. You know how they have the pup cups at um, Starbucks, and I seen a video, and it was the lady with her her possum sitting in her lap, and it was a giant possum, and he's holding the pup cup, just eating away with the <laughs> the possum. I did, Denise. Our dog was thirteen years old. She had congestive heart failure, and then she had something like a stroke, um, and she we had to put her down on Friday. We actually just picked her up yesterday, so we brought her ashes home and her paw print um, and everything. But she was my best friend for the last 13 years. Like, there's nobody that will – and my kids – and I've said this for years. Nothing can love me more than that dog. Not my parents, not my husband, not my kids. Um, my husband said it's the most loving dog he's ever seen. Yeah. But I'm glad she's not suffering anymore because it was I was being selfish wanting to keep her here. Happy balloon animals. But we've always had a dog. It's just a balloon I told the cats, I was like, I love you cats, but you're not giving me what I need emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> like plums, I'm gonna need you to I need more cuddle time. Yeah, balloon we should, animals. We should guess the animal. Rob. I, I figured out what one of these are, but I was like, I don't know what that is. But I think I know what it is now. This one over here. In the bottom right. What do you think that is, Holly? In the bottom right? What is that? I, I'm pretty what sure. A what? A palm tree or something? <laughs> I think it's a whale. I think it's... it's a... Oh, it's the blow. How it did is you a do whale. That? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like the octopus. What the heck is, is that? Is that a penguin? It is a penguin. He's like a skinny penguin. Yeah. Um, is that supposed to be? <laughs> she said I was close. <laughs> dolphin. Uh, what? <laughs> what is this one? Is that a monkey? On a... A yeah, monkey. that's a monkey. A fish of some sort. I don't know what the next one is. Frog? Shark. That's a shark. Oh, a shark. Okay, I couldn't figure that one out either. A pig, a turtle, a lion, a parrot, snail. Is that a unicorn? It's a unicorn. 
What the heck? Oh, it's a crocodile. That looks nothing like a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> you just take a marker and draw right. it. Yeah. yeah, I thought so too, Denise. I thought the shark looked like a frog also. No, wait, is that a dolphin? What is this one? It is a yeah, dolphin. Yeah, probably a dolphin. A duck? Is a that T-Rex. A... Was that an elephant? Elephant? Yeah, I was like, is that an elephant? It is, yeah. Yeah. Is that a koala? It is. Now, that balloon animal right there, that dog, that is super popular. Do you see which one I'm talking about next to the crab? Yeah. That's super popular. There's sculptures of it. Um, yeah. You can buy it for decor, but it's, and they're usually like metal and shiny. But that balloon animal dog is super popular in all kinds of different stuff right now. should play a game where you, you pick one of these balloon animals and then you try to make a balloon yeah. look. <laughs> I'll make a snake. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. All right. Sunshine phrases. It's going to be a bright... Anytime I think of that... um. And your mom would think the same because we watched every episode multiple times of the Brady Bunch. Uh, I ain't going to sing the song, but there's a song in the Brady Bunch. I think I'll go for a walk outside now. The sunshine's calling my name. I hear you now. Anyway, but <laughs> when I see that, it makes me think of uh, the Brady Bunch. Right, Denise? We watched Melody Love the Brady Bunch, and we watched I've seen every episode so many times. Hated that show. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Sipping like when I was watching it, I didn't realize how nice of a house the Brady's had. And then I look back and I'm like, they have a super. I turned my volume down and it's not. It's still Did you see the um, that show where they like they rebought the house? House and made it to the Brady. Yeah. I did. Okay. I did actually. <laughs> Lee Denise remembers that song. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Ugh, I hate that's the... <laughs> that is like so much cringe whenever I hear that. I'm like, ugh. Like, I don't think I can have a friend named Marsha. <laughs> like, <laughs> because... I would hang out with all the time because I'd be like, I just want to say it, but I don't because it drives me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah their house was really I didn't realize it now I look and I'm like wow they had a really cool house <laughs> soak up the sun my girls just wanna have sun if you want some sun <laughs> you should come here that's a thought uh, I was gonna say the name but I won't I was gonna say the, the Amazon machine's name it's currently 87 Wow. Holy cow. Sipping on sunshine. I like that. Tequila, lime, and sunshine. Tequila is like my favorite thing. Like, I don't know what happened to me. Like, I used to hate tequila. <laughs> but since I'm on the 75 day thing, I'm not going to drink for 75. I like that. Always bring your own sunshine. Sunshine. Enjoy the sunset. I know the country songs. and So the country songs are like about whiskey and then summer comes and then there's the tequila on a boat and tequila yeah. this. Um, and summer comes and then the songs in country transform from beer and whiskey to tequila, I've noticed. Yeah, tequila. So good. There's a beer lime in sunshine. Forever chasing sunsets. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... And I will literally do that. We'll like think of it late. We'll be like, you want to chase the sunset? And we try to chase it to the lake. Um, either Cedar Lake or Lake Michigan. And we're trying to be it'll be late and we'll be like, Can we beat the can we beat the sunset? I uh I took some photos of the stars last night. 
my phone. Cherish every sunset. That's awesome. There's a lot in here I actually really like. I found something out. Your phone might have it too. Do you have, um, if you open your phone and you go to more, do you have the expert raw? What do you mean if I go to more? (laughs) Open your camera. Sorry, guys. A little little class here on Samsung phones. Oh, yeah. Who's that? The expert raw? Okay. So do you see like the little thing that there's like lines and little stars? It's telling me to download it or something because it's got a little yeah, error on it. Yeah, you have to download it through the Samsung store. But So if you do that, then you can go... So at night, you put your phone on a tripod, and you shine mm-hmm. it up at the the stars, and it shows you, like... Like, last night I took a photo of, like, Leo, like, in the stars. Oh, and it shows that. you, like, on your phone, like, oh, that's what you're looking at right now. And then you move it around, and it sees another thing. But, like, here's... It's hard to see, but this is a photo that I took last night of just stars. And it's like teeny, teeny, tiny, so I don't yeah, see I it. Yeah. That's really neat. I didn't know that. So, oh, that's a good idea, Any A sunshine shirt with a UV changing. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. I Iron, like, that's like that. super cool. Sunshine is my favorite color. Be the sunshine. That's like I'm working on a project and... When I'm, it's something along those lines. It's Denise. If you have a Samsung phone, um, it's in the Galaxy Store. Uh, if you have an iPhone, you won't be able to do it. Um, but you would just go to more, and then I'm really trying to do more with photography and um, video, 360 video. Liquid sunshine, which you could put, you could put that with color changing stuff too. The liquid sunshine and put it on a cup. Yeah. Which is so funny because I have another design I made. And it's a sun and it's got a thing around it and it says, uh, "Sunshine <coughs> for the soul." It's coffee. And it's liquid sunshine. Rise like the sun and shine. Sunshine in my pocket. It's a pocket. Oh, that's cute. That's a song, too. <laughs> sunshine in my pocket. Sunshine. Sunshine chaser. That would even be cool for a decal for your car. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. It would be really cool if you could do the the you or the color changing, but yeah. it's not made to be like an automobiles because it would constantly be changing. Right, right. Spread a little sunshine with you. Oh, Ansel Adams is amazing, Denise. I know that photographer. I'm sure Alex does too. Yeah, the name sounds familiar. I'm trying to sunshine wherever you go. water bottle decal phrases this is my water bottle it matches your wall behind you well now you're gonna have to make one of these decals for it so if you, <laughs> if you see me going spot. down like this i'll take a drink of water <laughs> drink more water i can't i can't drink any more than i'm drinking <laughs> <laughs> i'm already drinking so much <laughs> I drank 140 ounces of water yesterday. I like the might be water, might not. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fun to might put on be there. tequila. <laughs> I could not <laughs> imagine drinking 44 ounces of tequila, though. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's... Is that even possible? I don't think so. I, I, think you would I, I don't think there's good results. <laughs> <laughs> right. Stop thinking, start drinking. That could be taken a different way, too. <laughs> Drink my water, mind my business. Emotional Emotional support water bottle. (laughs) And those, the water tracker, like that one you're on, I know I see lots of water bottles like that because it shows them because it has the marks on it and then you know like how much you've drank so far. How many cups you're on or... Yeah. Carol, uh, yeah, I had the the 21 Ultra 
It did not have it. The 22 and the 23 does. Right? One tequila, two tequila, three, three tequila, tequila, four. four yeah. Only time I ever have tequila is if it's in a margarita, which I don't drink those very often. They give me heartburn. <laughs> It's that sweet and sour mix. That's what it is. Sunshine. Sunshine, summer phrases. Be the sunshine. Good times and tan lines. I like that summer state of mind. And I think it would look cute on a hat, too. Oh, yeah. That shape of it, I think, would be good on a hat. Good times and tan lines. Ain't no time like that. We don't really tan here. Like, my my kids, me, we do not. Oh, I love that Summer Vibes one. Yeah, that's cool. The beach fixes everything. That's it's true. Except for right now. I hear red tide is happening on the golf, so stay away from the golf. Yes, Carol. The, yep, the expert raw, that is it. Oh, Jamie got, for iPhone users, there's an app called Night Sky that will tell you what the constellations are. Yeah, there's different apps. <laughs> this will yeah. just, like, so when you put your phone on the tripod and you mm -hmm. put, you hit that constellation uh, button, it, your phone will take a photo. You can choose between four, seven, or ten minutes. I did four minutes because I don't, ten minutes, I'll lose my mind. Um, <laughs> and you get... Like crazy results of the night sky. If there's a lot of light around you, I like last night I did it and everybody has little lights on their garages and out in their yard. It drives me nuts. I just want no one to have their lights on. So I have to like go drive somewhere. You know where that would have been really cool to use, Alex? Yeah. The cruise. The cruise. There's but, no in the middle of the ocean. But that we're constantly so cool. moving. Oh, yeah, we are kind of, yeah, true. Because I went to do that, and I'm like, well, I can't take a photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd just be, everything would be moving. Summer and chill, I like that, too. Like, I think, like, can koozie. Put it oh, on a yeah. can koozie. Yeah. Ocean waves and sandy beaches. Be the sunshine. Yeah, I know. Everyone's like, oh, AI helps with the moon photos. I'm like, yeah, but can your phone take a picture of the moon? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't understand how we can zoom in that much on a phone. It just doesn't make sense so, to me. A AI we get so close. Like, how? <laughs> AI really helps. So, like, whenever you look at the moon, there's only, you, you, you always see the same, like, shape of the moon. But it does, you know, I don't know. There's videos you can watch to explain it better. Object circuit designs. Oh, okay. I read that as cricket. I was like, cricket designs? Well, these are all cricket designs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We had some other circuit designs. Because yeah. I remember saying, like, you could make it for an electrician or something. And be right. like, you complete, well, or whoever, but you complete me, you know, and it's got the circuit. I remember floppy disks. Me too. You're probably the last of the... You're probably like the youngest, though, that does remember yeah. floppy disks. Because we had them in school. Well, they do the circuit work in school in, like, the STEM or whatever, where they build circuits and everything. So the kids would be more into the circuit stuff. Oh, I like these sunrise, sunset yeah. scenes. Yeah. I love the colors they used in them, too. Yeah. I like these, too, a lot. Oh, yeah. No, I'm live. My husband's coming. His car's in the shop, and they just looked at it, so he's apparently finding out. That's cool. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. He has to talk to me about the, the mechanic call. I'll okay. be right back. Yeah. 
These are fun. Mountain sunset. We catch up on shot here. Yeah, cloud or sunset pictures. I have a lot. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to post more on Instagram as well. So when I do take photos, my star photo is it's good, but I don't think it's quite. I think I need to take another one before I upload it to Instagram. Okay. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was super nervous for that call. Animal patterns and shapes. Yeah, it's always frightening when you <laughs> your car goes in. My last time I had to fix a car, it was thousands of dollars, you know. Right. Um, this one was relatively easy. So thank goodness. I literally had a knot in my stomach waiting on that call. Denise yeah. said she would love to see your photos, Alex. Okay. He takes great photos. I love photography too. Like it's just something like when me and Alex go somewhere together, it's kind of <laughs> perfect because like, you know, Matt will get like, are you done taking pictures yet? <laughs> but Alex and me get it. So yeah. it's like, we're both. And then like, we'll see one taken out like, Oh, that's a good angle right. or whatever. And, like in Nashville. Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely. I still have all those pictures to post. I don't think I, I the thought of that. I was like all of our time and like kid rock and all that. We didn't, I yeah when I scroll through my phone I'm like I have so many pictures to post I still have videos from when I went camping in July that I didn't even edit yet I still have some from the cruise too I didn't post um which I, I was on the boat but I still have pictures from when we were in Belize and where else but I was like oh there's still stuff I have to post for that there's just so many pics <laughs> I was in the spa most of the day that we were on in Belize. I like the animal prints though. Yeah. Animal prints are back too. They're back in <clears throat> back in style. Oh, I love the paw print with it. I have to sneeze and I'm uh, <laughs> like <clears throat> Oh my gosh. I was like, it's scumming. Boho scenic design. What's boho stand for? Bohemian? Bohemian, yeah. Alright. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. Matt, when he sneezes, I'll say, sometimes I'll say bless you before he sneezes, and it's, he gets so upset because <laughs> if it's to sneeze, he's like, it's because you said bless you. I was like, I literally don't have any power over that. <laughs> he literally gets upset. And it's like, yeah. I'm like, now it's just a thing. Because I'm like, you can't literally blame me. I don't have any power to actually stop the sneeze. <laughs> I'm going to put all the pics on CDs, but have no idea how to do that either. Uh, you can put them on a thumb drive, which is a lot easier, Denise. You can put it on a thumb drive or uh, what's the other thing, Alex, that you the backup drive? Um, like to store photos? Like a... I guess a backup drive. Yeah. But you can put them on CDs or it's honestly easier to do a thumb drive and then just... Hold on to that thumb drive, and I'll have all your images on it. Oh, what I what I like about the um... and no 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 special equipment. You just put the thumb drive in your computer, and then transfer the photos over to it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Do so an external, external drive, or you could keep them on an external drive also. The uh, what I like about the expert raw after you take the photo, it, if you have a Lightroom account, it literally has a Lightroom, so you can edit it in Lightroom. Because if you, uh, for anybody that uses Snapseed, you have to be careful because Snapseed destroys your photo. So if you edit on Snapseed, Snapseed's really easy to edit on, but Snapseed destroys the quality. So if you, like me, I'm actually getting into printing some of my photos uh, right now into 8x10s. So... Uh, then with those 8 by 10s I'm able to blow up the photo. Because the photo looks great on your phone, but when you get it into a bigger... Like, I took a, a couple photos last year that one of them is on a 30 by 30 canvas, 
and another one is a 16 by 24 and I was able to blow them up because I did not edit those on Snapseed. If you edit them in Lightroom, you can um, export it as a um, 300 by 300 pixel DPI or whatever. Ooh, I like that. I would change the colors a little bit. I know it's very, it's the boho scene, but I would, I, I like right. that one. But the colors in it would be awesome. Uh, yeah. It would look more like those, the other ones we just seen with the right. colors in it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like this too. Yeah. Oh, that one's cool at the bottom too. Yeah. It's like over the clouds. Yeah. I should just do a video of how I edit photos. <laughs> Oh, those are crazy. These illusion shapes. Wow. What would you put that on? You know, a shirt for a music festival. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. They're kind of yeah. like, tri like. Very, like, how would you cut that? That would. Oh my gosh. That's just. I don't know how to weed any of this. I mean, I would definitely <laughs> want to use it with iron on. Yeah. <laughs> Not paper. <laughs> Not paper. See, once my hair is dry, it just kind of goes all over. Oh, that's tripping me out. I don't know if it's a peak or a hole. Yeah, right? Is it pointing to like <laughs> I, out? It's, going, it's, it, it's literally moving for me. It's going back and forth. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Same with that one. I like the flower. The flower, the black and white flower there is neat with him. Oh, yeah. Maybe use as a stencil and then ink blend. That's a good idea. Uh, so, external hard drive you can get from like Best Buy. And you just plug it into a USB drive. Actually, this one right here. Yeah, I don't even know what's on here, but it, it's dusty. It looks like this. Who's calling me? Grandma's calling me. Um, I'll have to call her back. But it looks like this, and you can plug it into a USB drive, and then if you have a micro USB uh, or micro um, SD card, you plug that in into a, I don't have one right here, but there's like a thing that plugs into your computer that you plug the micro USB US, uh, micro SD card into and then you can transfer it to a external hard drive mm -hmm. oh. anybody likes optical illusions yeah I like these these are cool and you could have it draw it for I don't want you like a card but I don't know what you would use it for Wow. I like the star. Yeah. I like this. These hurt your brain a little bit. Yeah, for <laughs> real. That one's kind of like a disco ball, though. The circle with just the lines on it. This one? To the left. Oh, on the left oh, above. Oh, yeah. Hey, you could use that as a disco ball. Yeah. Right, Denise? She said, my eyes, my, my eyes. eyes. <laughs> Well, those were fun. Drip objects. Seems like they're putting all this trippy stuff together. You could put some of these drip ones with the optical illusion ones and make like a shirt for a music festivals. I like that eye. That's cool. Drippy camera. And then for any of our Patreon supporters, too, while I'm thinking of it. So tomorrow we're doing something really fun, right? This is me and Alex are excited to see yeah. how this goes. So if you are a supporter of ours on Patreon, uh, Facebook, or YouTube, you have access to our 24-7 Melody Lane Crafting Zoom. 
So tomorrow we're doing something we've never done before in it for our members. And if you don't want to participate, you don't have to. You just come into the Zoom and you can watch it too and see how it like all unfolds. So we're doing one of those murder mystery. I was going to call it a dinner, but it's not a dinner. We're doing one of those murder mystery parties in Zoom. So like later on today, all of us get like a script of our parts. And then it, it goes on for like two hours or so. And then nobody knows at the beginning who's even the murderer. And you have to wait till a certain point in the game. And then the person, it, but anyway, so you don't know who the murderer is at first. You don't know if it's you, um, but there's all these scripts for each different person. And then we try to figure out who the, it's like a game of Clue. So we're basically we're playing a game of Clue and we're all characters within the crafting Zoom. So we're doing that tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be fun. Hi, Gloria. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm excited to see how this goes. That's we went to a murder mystery dinner, right, Alex, in Gatlinburg? Yeah. And we were thinking it was kind of going to be the same thing. I was thinking, like, oh, we're going to have a part, and we got to figure it. But it wasn't. It was just, like, basically like a theater show, right? Yeah. You had dinner and... Danish pastel drink wrap and coasters. Oh, Deborah said scripts have all been sent. So excited. I'm excited, Deborah. This should be fun. Earlier this week, I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to go because I was sick and uh, all of that. And now I'm like, thank goodness. I've always wanted to do one of these. So so come and join us in Zoom tomorrow. If you are a member, the link for Zoom is in the Melody Lane Crafting Zoom on Facebook. And, and then if you're a Patreon member, it's posted too. Where the password of the month is, it also has the link to the Zoom. So you can just come in and watch if you want. And... Um, see how it goes. Oh, the cherry. Oh, I like the butterflies. I don't see cherries. Strawberries. Um. Coasters. Those would be good to put on the coasters, the circle ones. Yeah. The, uh, oh, I like that. That's cool. Coral. Um, and this will not be on YouTube, so it's only in the... Yeah. Only in the Zoom. Right. Uh, it's 2 p.m. Eastern is when it starts. Holiday drink wrap. Holiday drink wraps. Some Halloween. And the coasters. Oh, there's an Easter egg. Is that? Yeah, Easter eggs. Make Easter. You could use that color changing vinyl for the drink wraps. Graduation. Yep, 2 p.m. Eastern. Pattern drink wrap. Coasters. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're giving us lots of drink wraps, and I think it's because of the color changing vinyl. Some stuff to. Designs to make with that. Well, that's that's a good question. What if you put color changing vinyl on coasters and then you set your drink on it? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Nature drink wrap and coasters. <clears throat> Nature, yeah, it does say nature. I like the watermelons. I am so hungry. I had a protein shake, but... Oh, I get it, Denise. I don't have a sublimation printer, so I'm not able to do sublimation here. So I totally understand. Yeah. I the reason also, I infusible ink so much because it gives you the patterns and yeah. different stuff that you have to have the sublimation printer to normally do, but with the infusible ink, you at least have the patterns on there. Oh, hot and cold. Yep. These were definitely for the hot and cold vinyl. <laughs> Hug in a mug. Hot brown water. What? <laughs> Is that coffee? I guess? Coffee. <laughs> Okay, it's a weird way to refer to it. It really is. <laughs> Park your drink here. I'm so freaking cold. 
<laughs> Sweet as sugar, cold as ice. Is that the what's the one with the cocktail say? It's a little I can't. Pour me something strong, tall and strong. Don't mess up the table. That's in a song too. I get tall and strong, make it a hurricane before I go insane. That's it's five o'clock somewhere song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you mean? She's, like, she's gonna song. pick up on it. She's gonna realize what song it is. <laughs> <laughs> this should be a game. <laughs> Member of the Always Cold Club. Nope, not me. <laughs> I'm too cold for iced coffee. That is true. That's true. I love some iced coffee. Doesn't matter if it's negative 30 outside. I'm still getting iced coffee. I haven't had coffee in almost a week now. I, need I haven't had any caffeine, period, because all I could drink was water. So I'm still just drinking water. I'm going to put this on a shirt. I'm really hot. <laughs> <laughs> like that what does that say i take i'm getting hot in here um oh i take my coffee hot uh oh. no things drop it like it's hot yeah it's getting hot in here no, nope, that's song, huh, Alex? Uh -huh. <laughs> like it's hot as a song, too. <laughs> uh. Don't ask, just pour. Pour some sugar on me. No. <laughs> uh. Drink happy thoughts. I like that. I like that one, yeah. Is that a little rainbow on top? It, it is. is yeah. That's cute. To have, to hold, what? To have, to hold, That's, and to keep. We're <laughs> too many songs in this live. Love it. <laughs> I am a song, like, I love music. Um, so, whenever we're in the cartoon, a song comes on, my husband likes to play this game, and he'll go, what movie was it in? So we have to figure out, oh, this song, you know, from this movie in the 80s or whatever. It's always a fun game. Favorite soup phrases? I didn't know that. Oh, we're talking about coffee. Did you see that Starbucks has these drinks coming out with olive oil in them? That coffee sounds, with olive oil? That sounds absolutely disgusting. I don't understand this. It's not, I'm not going to try it. I don't feel like my stomach would like it. It doesn't like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on coffee with olive oil in it? Nikki grew up with Nelly. My aunt babysat him. That's crazy, Nikki. So you were singing, it's getting hot in here, right? <laughs> that's, <laughs> not, that's such a small world. Was he good to babysit for? Was he? <laughs> Put butter in their coffee? I have actually done that. It was delicious. You did? Yeah. I don't remember why. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me to try it, and I'm like, you sound crazy. Okay, I'll try it. Yeah, it was super delicious, but it's not something, it just seemed very unhealthy. Yeah, I think, right. I think I was doing it during, when I did the keto diet, but. And I like hopeless I romantic. And so these are soup phrases, so it just seems weird. Oh, there's a new, um, uh, a, like a K-pot in Orlando that I want to try. Oh, is there? Yeah, I've barbecue. never done one of those. There's a robot that comes to oh. your table. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You are unforgettable. Yeah, that is true, Denise. She said that would be a good shirt for menopause. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> that is a <laughs> real idea. That's cute. And then Nikki said he is actually super sweet and a very kind person. That's awesome. We ramen to be... What does that mean? Ramen. Oh. We ramen to be. We ramen. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> we, ramen. we ramen to be. We ramen to be. I keep saying it like it's going to turn into <laughs> something else, but I don't understand it. We, we are meant to be. Oh, maybe. We are. We ramen to be. <laughs> if you just want to confuse people, put that on the shirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm super in love with you. 
I don't like soup. I think the only soup I like is cereal. Oh, they tried it. So the coffee's already out. Somebody tried it and liked it. They say it's supposed to be good. It just seems like such a weird thing. But olive oil is good for you. So you are unforgettable. No, un <laughs> unforgettable. It's pho. Oh, pho. Yeah, pho. Oh. Pho. Have you ever drank or have you ever ate pho? Pho. Pho. No, there's a place right near here though in Oxford. That's I hear good. It's really good. I went. I had sushi on Monday. Oh, it doesn't. Mama Cat said we have always drank coffee with olive oil. Doesn't really change the flavor. Huh. Lori went to a hamburger joint and they had a robot deliver the food to us. Have you seen the videos of like Uber Eats? I, it's in big cities or college campuses or something. They have their little robots. Their little robots that drive to the house just down oh, the nice. sidewalk, but they'll get stuck lots of times. You know, something will happen, a car could hit them. They like go over in the grass and then they're stuck. And they <laughs> have, have, you, little... have you seen the new Mark Rober video w with the um, zipline drones? They use them no. a lot in different countries that they drop off medical supplies. Wow. Funny cereal phrases. The best kind of soup. Cereal. Yeah, I think they're getting a little crazy with the robots a little too much. They, they can replace too many humans at this point. It's legit becoming iRobot, and it's scary. Yeah. Right. Matt said Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's not good. <laughs> Why so cereal? No, to my cereal. Why so cereal? Like the cereal, cereal. I hate it so much. I can't seriously. Uh, <laughs> it's just so cringe. I uh, cereal slay. It's so hard to say. Cereal just trying to say that word at home, everyone. <laughs> Robocop. That's another one. Seriously, seriously. I officially hate the word cereal. <laughs> <laughs> it's cornflakes. Don't take life too seriously. Oh, you're the marshmallows to my cereal. Good, they smell. That's cute. For the Lucky Charms fans. Robots are probably better than a lot of people. That's true. Yeah. They've got great work ethic, Any. <laughs> There's no sick date. Well, I mean, I guess there is. They quit working. But... It's, yeah, when their batteries die. It's just when their eyes turn red. That's when I'm over. I'm done. <laughs> Hot and cold icons. Hot and cold. Fire. This is a jack o' lantern hot? I mean, I guess if you light a candle in it. <coughs> nice one. Oh my gosh. Yes, and the broth is like the magicalness of the pho, the pho. right, Linda? I say that's what's really good for you. Well, I'm glad we helped with laughs, Denise. I haven't had, it's been a rough week, so I am glad to be here and laughing with all of you. Oh, I oh, like the fire. Those flames are neat. It's like the only thing I can draw, and they look pretty similar to that. <laughs> it's true, those flames are easy to draw. Oh, hey, look, one that we've seen before, Glitch Objects. Oh, we finally made it around. Well. So you guys are designing the design space, don't forget to look for those Easter eggs for a chance to win the $100 on Cricut. Well, maybe not, because there's a lot more. Do we see this? We saw Happy Birthday Animals, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, we've seen. We've seen those. Okay. Melon. What's melanin? Oh, I was going to say, any. what's that word? Gesund that must be how you say bless you in German. Ges Gesundheit. Gesundheit. Yeah, Gesundheit. Oh. Thank you. We made it around. Oh, if you haven't entered the Melody Lane monthly giveaway, too, it ends in just a few days. It ends on the 27th. So in the video description of the video below, too, is the instructions on how to enter the giveaway. 
And we are giving away, I had to think about it for a second. I was like, I forgot what we're giving away this month. <laughs> uh, two people are going to win their choice of an easy press, a mug press bundle, or a cricket lamp, up to $250. So they get their choice. So make sure and enter. So you can a little... Oh, it's a melody coaster. Yeah. Was that sitting right there? Yeah, it's been sitting here for like ever. I was gonna say I don't remember when I was there, it but was... I was moving so much stuff. Who knows? It was under some stamps. Oh, okay. And I have these here. When I... <laughs> I love these. <laughs> Can you do the impression for No. <laughs> 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 Look, guys, I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> Your mouth is moving. <laughs> That's so funny. So funny. The shark thing is adorable. And if you want a good laugh, Denise, if, you, if you, any of you haven't seen that video, Melody it's, and Alex cracking up. It's so it's funny. It's the best video. <laughs> I just seen the video we did, um, the opening when we were in Miami, Alex. Oh yeah. It was one yeah. of the updates. So the last video we did that was like new updates to design space, me and Alex were in Miami. So we shot the that in Miami. Um and at the end he like threw me for a loop because I always say happy crafting and he always says toodles. <laughs> and he's just like happy crafting and I'm like flabbergasted and I just look at him like what am I supposed to do? Now? I, toodles. <laughs> You're like, That's my line. <laughs> but if anybody's not a patreon supporter and wants to join go to patreon.com slash melody lane um you can join then you'll get access to the zoom if you want to come in the zoom tonight and watch our murder tomorrow. mystery tomorrow or tomorrow uh, not yeah. tonight tomorrow yes if it was today we'd already be doing it yeah. <laughs> so all right everyone well thank you for joining us and we will see you guys next week and we'll go into some new projects, too, and everything. We have lots of images this time, so we yeah, want to catch up. Yeah, next time we'll, we'll check out other things. This video has already been an hour and 18 minutes long. So. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, everyone, have a great weekend. And for those that are going to be in the Zoom, we will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Toodles.